channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that is highly questioned to me, as you can tell by the title. It's about uh, my daughter's heart problem that she has. And before we get started on the video, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. So let's just get into the video. So to begin with, basically, I'll just explain what it is. She yeah. has a heart problem, which is classified under CHD, which is a congenital heart defect. Um, kids with heart problems are classified under that. Specifically, her problem is uh, pulmonary stenosis, which is basically for her, when she was born, uh, I believe she was a day, yeah, I think she was like a day or two old. They did a, a ultrasound EKG, I think it's EKG, whatever, on her heart. She had to get, she, well, they had to take her to a different hospital to like verify that they seen the heart murmur in her heart because that's what they told us that they found. So I was like, okay, I have a heart murmur too. She should be fine. But I was also worried, obviously. Well, come to find out that night, they had told us that uh, because of her heart murmur, she would have to get sent to Pittsburgh Hospital or whatever, which is where we found out that she had pulmonary stenosis. We went up there as much as we could uh, with her. And then closer to when she came home, we stayed up there for, I believe it was two weeks and we weren't leaving until she came home. Uh, it was a whole bunch of complications and stuff. We were getting fed up. And the reason why we couldn't stay up there the whole time is because William was working and stuff. I was recovering from my C-section, couldn't be my, myself and all that. I would love to be up there for that whole month she was up there, but I just couldn't be. What? That does that work. <laughs> so, yeah, so we found out she had pulmonary stenosis. Um, basically, like I said, for her, it's her, uh, heart valve to, like, how she gets oxygen and stuff, that was very indented. They try to say it was slightly, but if you could see the picture, it looks very indented. It's terrible. So, they decided that they had to give her, uh, a heart surgery. Now, before they cut her open or anything... They uh, went into her groin area with a catheter and everything to try to do a what's called a balloon procedure. Um, that way they didn't have to cut her open. That's their last resort um, for babies. So they did the balloon procedure. Now there was tons of complications that could have happened. I don't remember all of them, but one of the things being a blood clot. Now I knew blood clots were bad but I didn't know how bad they were. But obviously when I told them, yeah, do the procedure, like she needs a heart pump fix or she's gonna have trouble breathing and she'll probably end up dying. So obviously, yeah, do the procedure. So they did the procedure, other procedure, she was doing well and stuff. But since, because, like, because of the procedure, she had got a blood clot in her right leg. So technically after her procedure, like when she woke up and stuff, they were gonna let us take her home but uh so she got that blood clot and stuff she had to get uh they had to like find her pulse constantly and stuff to make sure she still had her pulse in her leg and everything then they had to start giving her what's called a lovenox shot um in both of her legs switching back and forth um every 12 hours i believe <clears throat> so basically one in the morning and one before bed for a whole entire month so not only did she have to get the Lovenox shots, two shots a day, uh, she also had to get her blood drawn multiple times for testings. Uh, she kept taking out her freaking IV that was in her arm. So they had to keep putting that in. Eventually they like put like a tube it literally in her arm and put a cast on it so she couldn't take it out. Um, they had to do a spinal tap, which is not literally like a C set like what they do for C sections, but they have to stick a needle in her spine, so it's close on to that. I like I imagine painful life. Um I felt so bad for her. Um like she was just constantly getting poked for a whole month and it, it was terrible. So oh also she also got a oh a blood infection. 
Uh, so some type of infection got in her blood. So they had to take it to the lab and try to figure out, you know, like what was in her blood or whatever so they could properly treat it. Well, thankfully, because and it takes like, I think it was two to three days to find out what it was. And I was so scared for that because I was like, okay, well, what if in that time, like something bad happens to her or whatever. But thank God we found out what it was, treated it. She was fine with that. Um, so after her month of being there, she started to get the Lovenox shots because she had to get it for a full month. Um, and a full month would have been like two weeks after we would have left. Uh, so basically I had to learn how to give her the shots or whatever. And then, uh, we could leave once everything's situated. Uh, after she got her one last shot or something, I forget what it was. Like, virus shot. Um, so after she got that. We were uh, getting ready to leave and stuff. We were so happy. I cannot even explain the words. Uh, the only downfall was I had to, like I said, learn how to give the Lovenox shot. I was super scared for that. I did give it to her once before we left, uh, the night before. And it wasn't honestly as bad as I thought it would be. I think I was just working myself up. It, it seems so hard, but really it's so easy to give a baby a shot. <laughs> Especially her. Because she has a, well, she does now too, but she had like super chubby legs. So you just got to pinch it and then you give her a shot, whatever. Um, so like I was still nervous for that, but I had William at home to help me. So like hold her down and stuff because when she gets shots, like she's so strong. It's unreal. So you, <clears throat> she needs held down. So we came home from Pittsburgh and... Everything was normal besides giving her the shots for I think about two weeks. Uh, she had her follow-up appointments in Dubois, which is a town near us, um, for the heart doctor. So the first time we went to the heart doctor, I got worried because he said her valve was leaking, her heart valve. Um, so I was worried on that, but he said it's not. He well, he said it wasn't like bad, so it's nothing to really worry about. But if it gets worse, obviously. Um, there's something to worry about. So I was super scared for our next appointment. And then the one after that, uh, he said she's doing perfectly fine or whatever. Um, her heart's looking good. So does that mean that her heart problem, like, does she still have pulmonary stenosis? Yes, yeah, she still has pulmonary stenosis. But as of now, and I pray forever, um, her valve is fine. She's breathing fine. Um, she, she still has her blood clot in her right leg. And I'm not understanding about that, like a whole bunch of stuff about that. So obviously it, it can't harm her, I'm assuming, because Pittsburgh just let her go or whatever. I'm going to say nothing else besides the low and knock shots. But I'm concerned because you can obviously die from a blood clot. So um, within a few months here, we're going to go up to Pittsburgh and um, get her blood clot check, checked out. And I'm going to ask a whole bunch of questions or whatever. But other than that, that's really it. Um, she doesn't have a blood infection anymore, obviously. And she just has a blood clot or whatever. So she's healthy. She breathes fine. She uh, crawls around like crazy. Um, she's a smart baby. She's trying to learn how to walk. She's doing pretty good so far, but she's not quite walking yet. She has a uh, high scream. She can yell. That's another thing, too. When we went uh, the last time, she was crying and the doctor was giving her EKG or whatever. And uh, he was saying normally for like babies, especially though with her heart problem, but normally in general, like her, I think, I forget what he said. I don't know if he said her lungs. He was looking at her heart though. I, I, I don't know, but like her, her vocals and stuff, um, he could see that within there. Um, obviously not her lungs. She could yell. She got high voice and everything. Wait, she ain't gotta tell me because I already know, but uh, it's just surprised me, especially like with her heart problem and stuff and all that. But yeah, she's healthy. But like I said, I just wanted to do this video for those of you who asked me what CHD was because I have it in my Instagram bio and that's where... 9 out of 10 people ask me about it and it's not that I get tired of answering the question but I just say to you oh it's just a heart problem or congenital heart defect and like that's really it. I don't go into detail I feel like there's the internet you can do that but from my experience with her 
I decided since people keep asking me, like I've had like 10, like 10 people ask me in the past like two months. So since you guys keep asking, I figured I'd do an actual video going into detail and stuff and give you guys a little insight on what it is and how she's doing and how she is like now and everything. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell by the subscription area. And be sure to tune in for another video.